I want to create a site that I can use to make and control a whole computer. Not a real computer, it's just going to be on a website. And with this, I want to also be able to control it from my phone. Maybe even run a Minecraft server on it. <laughs> now, I've seen a couple of different hosting sites where you can host Minecraft or any other game that you and your friends want to play. But I wanted to take another approach to this. I wanted to see if I could host a whole computer on a website. How can something like that even be done? Before I get too deep into it, let's see how this is going to actually work. Whenever we visit the website, the user is allowed to make a new computer that's just special to them. Somehow that computer is supposed to launch with all the necessary things that it needs with the OS and whatever it is. And that user is supposed to be able to communicate with that computer. It sounds simple. It's not, but it sounds simple. The way I want to go about it is by using an old computer. I'm going to have to figure out a way to split up the computer into a bunch of different computers, which sounds weird, but just hang on for a second. The way I'm going to split it up into a bunch of different computers is by using Docker. Let's look at this real quick. Docker allows you to get any OS, even Minecraft servers now. Docker calls these things images, and it essentially lets you run it on your computer. Now let's say we run an Ubuntu image. If I want to run another one on top of the one that we just made, we can. We just have to change the name of the computer. Docker calls these containers. And once we name that container something different and tell Docker we want to use the same OS, we can do this indefinitely until a computer crashes, of course. Assuming it doesn't crash, we can just make a bunch of computers now. The only problem is how we're going to control them. This is where the problem started to arise for me. The solution is to SSH into the computer, meaning that the computer is going to let me control it through the terminal, like 90 style. Uh -uh. You didn't say the magic word. Please! God! When I gonna have a GUI on it, like Windows, because we're just better and I don't have time for that. There was other problems I had to face. One being that you can't SSH on a website. But in an effort to keep this video short, I'm not gonna go over that. Although if you do, for some reason, want to do this, first off, don't. But if you did, use Node.js on a Docker container and put a WebSocket there so it communicates with the React or whatever you're using so you get constant updates from the terminal. With that being said, everything should work now. Here's the first time I actually got the Minecraft server to run. So it's been around like a minute of loading right now. <laughs> you can't even load a single block, it's just, it's just black. <laughs> This guy box is there, but that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. If if this laptop, if this laptop had more RAM, this would run. This would run for sure. Maybe in another video, but this would run for sure. I mean, it's a whole computer. You can do whatever you want. You can host a game. You can run a website. Send emails if you wanted to for some reason. Something cool would be to add a better terminal on the website because I can't edit text documents on the website. I have to manually transfer them. Other than that, it was actually pretty fun to make. It was kind of cool to learn how that kind of stuff is made. Pretty dope though.